and EDAG and how EDAG shows the use cases of the IOTA-based CityBot at the airport. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and check to see where IOTA is in the market. Currently, uh, at the filming of this video, it is at about 27 and a half cents. Uh, it is up about 1.1 per or 0.11 percent uh, as for today. And I just wanted to kind of show you what the three months of IOTA has been doing. And as you can see, over the past three months, uh, you can trickle down in here. It has been as low as 17 cents. And as of today, it is about uh, 27 cents. But it has gone up to 28 cents in the past uh, 30 days. So um, anything I am about to say or have said in this video definitely should not be construed as a financial advice of any kind. I am not a financial advisor. Uh, please do your research. With this in mind, IOTA is here. And if you were looking and you were uh, chose to invest in IOTA just three short months ago, uh, in my opinion, this is definitely doing a lot better than what Bitcoin and many other coins have been doing over the same period. And what I mean by that is that uh, this is a very good introduction into cryptocurrencies. If you were looking for a particular company that has a lot of use cases and is building and developing them to uh, implement them into the real world, I believe this particular company would be a good place to start. And there are many out there, uh, but this is just my opinion on IOTA. Now, let's move over into the EDAG IOTA article. So here it is. EDAG shows the use cases of the IOTA-based CityBot at the airport. Links for this article will be in the description below. And in this, we're also going to be touching on the white paper that discusses a little bit deeper in the technology. So let's go ahead and dive into this a little bit. EDAG and IOTA have been working together in the field for, of mobility for some time. Probably the most exciting project is without a doubt the EDAG CityBot, an autonomous vehicle which was first presented at the International Motor Show in September of 2019. They have a video that was just released um, and it talks about in that video on how EDAG has now demonstrated the capabilities of the EDAG CityBot on the apron of, of an airport in order to automate logistics processes and take over a wide range of tasks in the security area. On the apron, the CityBot can be used as a pilot vehicle, transport vehicle for baggage and for larger transports as well as for other loading of the aircraft. So if you want to think about what is a city bot, just put it this way. If you took Wally and E and they spawned some very smart children, that is what a city bot, in my opinion, would be. The article goes on to read that the CityBot is completely emissions-free, autonomous, and multifunctional with 24-7 operation. In addition, CityBot allows for in-time delivery with real-time tracking with all services on one software platform. So that is an awesome, awesome uh, excerpt from this article. Once again, the links are going to be in the description, but let's move over to the white paper. This white paper came out in January of 2019. It is about 13 pages. Uh, I will say this, I am clearly not going to go through the whole thing. I will note, IOTA is only mentioned twice in this white paper. So what is the EDAG CityBot? First, there's a picture of Johannes Barkman, uh, hat tip to you. He has a quick quote here, only in combination with the digital digitalization is autonomous driving the biggest opportunity to effectively combat gridlocks. So EDAG's vision is the following. Our city of the future is clean, safe, worth living in, friendly, quiet, and smart. And this paragraph right here kind of encapsulates that and kind of brings this vision to life in my opinion and gives reason for that vision, I should say. And that is this. I, I, I like the way that this reads. Mobile? You've got to be kidding me. Congested roads, chronic lack of parking space, crowds everywhere, and constantly expanding cities all around the world. Is it realistic to even be talking about traffic flow? What we can talk about, though, are smog and fine dust storm alarms, increasing health risks, and the diminishing quality of housing, living and working conditions. It is time for a completely new concept. 
So, and that is the city bots. I really love the, that paragraph there. I think it just kind of gives a great introduction, even though it is on page four, of what the city bots and the overall vision of a city that is clean, safe, and worth living in. So they have a infographic in here that you'll be able to look and dive into a little deeper. I'm gonna to touch on two points in here, and that is the red ones. First, they note here, and this is the individual transport in uh, metropolises, motor and brake of everyday mobility. Uh, and clearly this is taken from one of their studies, uh, but first they say city bots for every 1,000 inhabitants could completely cover all inner city mobility and service requirements. They also note in here, 527 cars per 1,000 inhabitants in private households. So they've noted that as well. Now, wrapping this white paper up on page seven, and again, you can click the link below to access the white paper and read it in full. It reads, EDAG CityBot, a business idea in everyone. CityBots are mobility all-arounders. And just so you know, they're calling each of these modules, they call them hero modules. So. CityBots are mobility all-arounders. Whether with a trailer or rucksack, thanks to its autonomous mechanical connectivity, modularity sets no limits to the possible applications of heroes and any related business models. I like that because if they're denoting here that a business idea and everyone, then maybe they're saying that in everyone, there's a hero. Now to define these, you can see uh, a number of them. And keep in mind, they're gonna be talking about 24-7, 365 modularity. So in this, they have a number of ideas that are coming out, and I'm just gonna to touch base on a few of these. Uh, in no particular order, the emergency call hero uh, is there in case of emergencies. It works as a city guide or in security. You can think of maybe campus security always going around. You can also look in mind for the garden maintenance hero does the gardening when everyone is asleep. Well, uh, that, that'll be kind of interesting, especially if you're uh, in a certain neighborhood. But I do like that idea that if you are at work, some of your gardening could be done. Or uh, if you are a senior citizen or someone who has special needs, you can get your gardening done. So that is pretty sweet. You also have group taxi hero, take city dwellers from point A to point B. And let's consider with everything going on in the world, the supermarket hero or the pizza hero. These are gonna be deliveries of fresh pizza or grocery store products directly to your door. And lastly, for all the people out there that like Amazon people of the world, such as myself, Parcel Station Hero delivers all kinds of parcels to your door. And these are all autonomously driven, and that means fully autonomously driven vehicles. And with that said, I am going to merge over into about a minute and a half video from EDAG that shows how the hero modules are on the airport apron. So if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel. It does help the channel out a lot. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.